Hey, shout out to my banana tree. Looking pretty good. Fresh air with this thing. Tall as the house. Got a secondary one growing here. It's overpowering my lime tree. I have to remove that and replant that somewhere else. Also, shout out to my orange tree. Doing pretty good. Growing pretty well. So I'm out here uh, trying to decide what I'm going to do with this knife. Uh, as you can see, it's in pretty rough condition by the looks of that blade. That main blade has taken quite a bit of rust damage along the edge. The decision is which way to go with it, really. Um, should I leave it alone? It could be a decorative piece. Or should I refurbish it? Definitely can't restore it. Um, I could get away with just lightly grinding that edge, fixing that tip. As you can see, this is the only thing that worries me is this little neck right here in the middle. It's pretty high up there. So I would have to take off so much steel and I don't want to do that unless I can cheat and come here just take off a little bit as I get here I'll have to bump it up a bit and then drop it but will that um, affect the looks of the blade I don't know I think it is this one's a tough fix very tough fix like I said I could just leave it alone but uh, I don't know it's always fun to um, try out your skills, see if they have grown or have they diminished. Alright, so if this kind of thing interests you, stick around. It's got to be a fun one. Here we have it. It sucks I'm gonna have to go kind of high up on this, but you know what? I have an idea. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep it very close to this bottom edge on this hole and then have a little bit of a belly here up front. So uh, I have here a very fine grit sandpaper. I'm gonna wet the blade, of course, so that way I don't ruin my heat treat. And I'm just gonna lightly go like so until I'm satisfied. 
I'm not going to go all the way to the top because I still have to sharpen it, put a secondary edge on here. So what I'll do is get it close enough to that, okay? And then the secondary edge will butt right against the top of it. At least that's the idea. So let's do this. Well, I just noticed this one is marked six, two, three, five and a half. This is a nice collectible. Also, there's something in here. I still gotta clean out this pen knife and all that, but uh, she's looking pretty good. The pen knife should be really simple. Just gonna touch it up. Actually, I don't even need to. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna leave it alone. Just gonna sharpen it. It looks really good. Just put a little tip up front. That's about it. So that's good with that. Okay, let's take care of this right now. There we have it. That is the best I can do for this blade without messing it up. You know what? Actually, I'm not satisfied. Right there on this side has a little bit of a nick. Let me run my nail. Yep, just barely. Let me uh, swipe it one more time. There we have it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. As you saw, I'm trying to keep a lot of the blade still intact, so I had to come in here, make it into a belly. That works out pretty good. I dropped it, made it into a point still. A little bit of a belly at the tip. A little awkward, but you know what? Um, it, it's saved. <laughs> it's a nice blade. Still has a lot of life in it, so I'm, I'm happy with that. We're gonna. Clean her up a little more, get it really nice and going, buff it all out, put a nice um, edge on her as far as uh, whetstone, and uh, she's good to go and ready for a new home. Okay, let's check out that pen knife. Let me just fix that tip a little bit. Okay. 